my name is Juan Solano. I'm from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Uh, in my project, I wanted to develop a computer program that allows users to uh, learn basic Spanish vocabulary. Uh, so, uh, the program first uh, takes you through a storyline. It's kind of like a story. It's like a storybook. Uh, the user is given the option to go into the next scenario. It's like a story. You're flipping pages. You have a visual at the bottom. Uh, that this, that, that kind of shows what the words mean at the at the top. You're actually supposed to kind of from the visual kind of pick up what the what the, what the top of the text means. And as you're going, this this storyline actually has 26 chapters to it. And you are the user is uh, well the participants that I used were allowed 40 minutes to kind of analyze the whole storyline as a whole. You can go forwards or backwards with it. And also at the end uh, when you uh, finish this 26. You can actually skip around to whatever chapter you are you wanted to, and if you miss any details throughout, then you could um, you could pick up the any of the information that you missed. There's a pretest and postest that I use. Uh, there's about 20 vocabulary words uh, in Spanish that I use, and these are the these are repeated throughout the storyline. So the user will be able to identify these words. There are about 20 of them, and so the pre and postest actually I did a this is since this is like a little prototype of. The, the final product. Uh, this I compared it uh, for, uh, from a sample of 40 participants, and uh, I compared gender, ethnicity, and existing Spanish proficiency. Uh, the, pro uh, the pre and post test scores were uh, graphed on a 100% scale, and so these are the actually uh, the the males and females. There's actually a difference there of the proficiency scores. A difference is taken from uh, when the pretest is subtracted from the post test. So you actually the difference is what you actually learn from. And ethnicity, um, Hispanics. Uh, I, I threw in the Hispanic variable just to kind of see what what would show up from this project. Uh, there was little uh, significant uh, proficiency that they learned, like more than they already know, that they already know, like maybe about one or two words. However, there was uh, somebody that was taking like maybe one semester, two semesters of Spanish, to actually learn more from this program. I also included a survey. Several questions in which they were learning. Hey, do you feel what you learn the most in a uh, classroom setting? And also, which learning aids do you enjoy? Inclusion. <laughs> Since there's actually a difference in what uh, you actually feel like you learn the most and you actually enjoy, uh, from the results, 35% uh, for both computer and textbooks uh, from all the participants. However, which one they enjoyed the most was actually the computer programs was the majority. And the majority would recommend this to somebody interested in learning Spanish. So this proved to be a successful program. This is just the beginning stages. Actually, if I continue this program, would I would actually add uh, more options, uh, interactive options throughout the storyline, in which the user will be able to make decisions throughout the program and actually like choose their path. Since this is an adventure storyline, they will be able to uh, like choose a different ending every time or something like that. You actually have. Since uh, the text and the visuals actually have an ID number uh, written into it, which is the, for the database that stores all the text and the visuals, you will be able to add a random number of generator in which you will rearrange the order of the options as they pop up so you'll have a different ending every time. So, yeah, I, there's actually a lot that I, I can do with this, a lot more features I want to add to it before I can maybe publish it or hopefully something. Do you have a buyer? No, not yet, not yet. But, uh, but I, I really want to. Uh, expand this and add more features to it or maybe a little more audio to it if you somebody reading the storyline so you can learn a little more pronunciation or something like that it'd be a little more interesting and this is a little different from uh, from the usual uh, foreign language the software is because they are uh, this one's a little more interactive you're actually the, the one that's uh, that's incorporated in the story. And that's the role-playing game part of it. Is that you're the person that's that's actually participating in the story, not just like a software that tells you what to do and translates stuff for you. You're actually incorporated and you're actually making decisions. So it's the fun part about it. So it's a little more interactive.